Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have talked about my experiences of living on the autism spectrum. Then I like to uh, give my two cents about what's going on with autism and the media. And finally, uh, I enjoy expressing topics that I'm passionate about, such as going to Dragon Con and uh, doing some video work there. I also like to talk about astronomy, mathematics, um, people like Albert Einstein, cosplaying, and uh, so on and so forth. So anyway, as you know, yesterday was July 4th, 2014, which was uh, the United States of America's Independence Day. And yes, I live in this country and I'm so blessed to be living here and God bless America. And the reason why I decided to do a blog on uh, the 4th of July is because, number one, it is one of my favorite holidays and I've always enjoyed it since I was two years old. And second of all, I have some memories of living on the autism spectrum and uh, observing the 4th of July. And so here goes. Um, I have a very, very, very rare eidetic memory. And I mean, I can remember things... Uh, back to when I was a toddler, which is very rare. I don't know how many people have that gift. Um, I think it's a gift and a great blessing. So anyway, it was uh, July 4th, 1984. Um, I lived in a small town with my mother and my father as an only child at the time. And uh, some friends of my mom had come over and we went to a park and uh, we sat down on a blanket and it got dark. And I remember for the first time seeing what fireworks are, were or what they were about. And I remember they lit up the night sky and um, I was seeing all these beautiful bright colors and just uh, learning what fireworks were. At first I thought fireworks had something to do with regular fire that you'd put in a fire pit or a fireplace. And then about one year later, I had moved up to the Twin Cities with my parents, and I was about three years old. This must have been in 1985, because we were, as we were watching the fireworks, um, I noticed that uh, the fireworks had a, uh, a, po a loud popping noise. And when I was two years old, I didn't remember the pop. I just remembered the beauty the beauty and the design of these expanding colors that look like something out of the Big Bang Theory. And I remember thinking, thinking of the word spark every time I saw one firework go up into the sky. And so there would be a firework here, spark, there would be a firework there, spark, there would be a firework here, spark. So I, I know there's all kinds of research about different types of minds. I don't know if, if that's my pattern mind because I'm good at mathematics, but either way I know it was fascinating and I know it has to do with, I know now it has to do with my autism because if a firework goes, goes off, I think I automatically, and I, I hear the, the pop, I automatically uh, think spark, spark, spark. So uh, if you um, are an autism researcher and, or if you're Temple Grandin, can you answer this question? What type of a mind is that? Um, when I associate uh, something like a firework with the noise and then the word spark, what is that? So, until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.